So at Transport for London, we've got some extraordinary railway heritage. We've got the Thames Tunnel, built by, by the Brunels. Um, we've got the world's first underground railway, the Metropolitan Line, between uh, Paddington and Farringdon Street. And we've got a great wealth of Victorian and Edwardian architecture. But we've also got uh, the product of boldness and vision in the 1930s, the product of Ashfield and Pick, who extended the underground out, sometimes on former mainline railway lines like this, uh, and some stations which are e equally uh, iconic, uh, Holden stations like this one, and this one actually a collaboration between the London Passenger Transport Board and the London and North Eastern Railway. And those people were bold. If you look at the statue behind me, Ammonier's uh, uh, statue at East Finchley, um, you wouldn't need to have done that, and in a modern and more utilitarian age, you might not have done it. But we're the custodians of some fantastic history. In the 50s and 60s, we lost our way a bit in a, in a, in a world of economy and parsimony in some cases. But more recently, as London's expanded, we've had to expand the underground, we're building new lines, we're building, in fact, Crossrail, which is um, the Northern Europe's largest engineering project, a £16 billion railway linking the Great Eastern and Great Western main lines across London. Uh, and what I hope is that we're building some stations which in 50 or 100 years' time will be regarded just as iconic, uh, as, just as, iconic um, as this station or indeed the great stations of the Victorian and Edwardian eras. To help us do that, uh, we're in collaboration with the Railway Heritage Trust because Crossrail is running on Brunel's uh, Great Western Main Line started in the 1830s and it's our job to put a 21st century railway uh, into the setting of a, of a main line built by a brilliant man uh, ne ne nearly 200 years ago. So the RHD have been helping us find new uses for existing buildings to be sensitive in the adaptation of stations which are there um, and into the modern era with electrification and so on. And I think that's a very worthy collaboration. The RHT are real enthusiasts, they know what they're doing, they can help us take the best of the past and build it into a 21st century railway.